Look who this out of show is. <laughs> bro. And today, bro. Today, bro, we're gonna be going over um the best all paint diamond lineup. No. Um, one reason I'm doing this is because um there is actually uh you can get hella XP if you win two games with all paint diamonds. I already did uh, and unlimited too. By the way, not on that bullshit right, right, um domination. You get like a thousand XP or something. So now's a good time to do this. And not only that, bro. Uh, for the past week, uh, we got three pink diamonds basically, and 2K went three for three on these pink diamonds. All three are very, very good. Um, with some of the best pink diamonds. Uh, and yeah, bro, we just gonna be looking at this lineup. It's pretty cheap too, so you can tactically downgrade um your galaxy opals to get some of these. And some of these are just the best cards in general. Like, like are better than a lot of galaxy opals in dark matter. Let's go straight over, it, bro. Um, start with the point guard, bro. The best pink diamond, it's, it's a little bit debatable, um, because there's two of them, uh, it is Chauncey Billups, bro. This card is just amazing, bro. Uh, it moves, he just moves so well, His he has the most chicken release, like, only problem is he's 6'3", he has good defensive stats too, he's 6'3", he has good defensive badges too, um, great shooting badges, great ball, and like, like yeah, it's the only problem is he's 6'3", he's basically, he's basically like a Dwayne Wade, bro, um, Dwayne Wade's obviously better, if you can upgrade and get a Dwayne Wade, go ahead and do that, but... I, I love this card. I actually slept on in the beginning. I use this card. This card is amazing. Kobe size up. Um, moves amazing. Solid enough defense. He's good. He's amazing. And not only that, bro. He actually has a duo. And it's actually one of the best. Um, honestly, it's one of the best cards of the game in general. I'm not even joking. It is Ben Wallace. And this is almost a Chico. Look what just happened. Now they're Galaxy Opals. It's almost, almost doesn't even count. It's literally a Chico. But, I mean, talk about Ben Wallace. Forget that he's a main diamond. He's one of the best in the game. Uh, look at his three-point shot. I gave him a shoe boost, and that his three-point shot is an 88 now, bro. Uh, it starts off like a 70, but you give him a shoe boost, you give him that um, dynamic to it. Uh, he's amazing, and he has the most chicken release. So it's like his number one weakness is shooting as a base card. But then after you fix everything, bro, his shooting is actually like borderline amazing. And um, defense-wise, probably he's probably top 10 in general as a pink diamond. This dark matter though, he's a Top 10 defender in general, bro. So this card is amazing. He moves very well too. Look at his, look at his acceleration, 95. Good ball hand, good enough ball handling. Like he, he's this card is amazing, bro. Ben Wallace in general, you should anyone and anyone should have him. If you're balling on somewhat of a budget, even if you have a god squad, you could still use a Ben Wallace. This card is amazing and needs to be in your lineup. I prefer the small forward position, but pink diamonds wise, there's not many good shooting guards, so he works amazingly as a shooting guard. Just dandy wandy. And at the small forward position, bro, we have Danny freaking fairy, man. Um, Danny freaking fairy, bro. I mean, this card, I love this card. I'm not gonna lie. In the beginning, he was 100k, which was kind of crazy to me. That's why I was, like, hating on his card in the beginning. But you want to talk about shooting-wise, there's not many better players. But he's, I love, love his release. His release is amazing. Um, Just every other stat is good. It's not amazing. It's just very good. Uh, defensively, you see 90, 90, 90, 90. Uh, solid defensive badges. Um, he's he gonna create for you? Hell not. Nah, but like, he'll speed boost pass, step back threes. That's all you need. And play some defense. That's all he's gonna do for you. That's all you need from him. He's an amazing card. He's a very fun card to use, too, in my opinion. Uh, he's just overall a very, very good card. And uh, again, this is one of those players, God Squads, God Squads can still run. Obviously, gotta badge him out, but he can make any team, bro. Budget, not budget, AMS, NMS, any squad, bro. Danny, freaking fairy, bro. At power forward, bro. Just so um, power forward, by the way, is the least important position in my opinion. Like, really, you just need to make corner threes for me, and play some defense, and maybe hopefully be tall if you could do that for me. If you can be tall for me, this is why I'm starting hands, bro. You could argue other players like Aaron Gordon to start, Josh Smith to start, but I'm starting hands, bro, just because he's six ten. Six ten can shoot from the corner. I'm not gonna get this card at all. I mean, he's a power forward. Power forward suck in this game, bro. There's not many good ones. Um. The most people run their centers as power forwards or the small forwards as power forwards. So it's like it's one of those things. Like I mean, he's 88 three ball, but his release is very chickenish, chicken ass. It's not chicken chicken, but um, you look at his defense. It's like 90 block, 90 steal, solid perimeter, 84 interior, 92. Um, it's a good card. It's literally just a good card. Um, you, the corner specialist, all you need from a rim protector. He has good, very good defensive badges, and he can shoot from the corner. That's all you need from him. That's why I'm gonna start him at power forward. And he's 6'10. That's all I'm gonna say. 6'10, 250. So if you're up against a Ewing, bro, he'll hold his own. That's all I gotta say. Um, basically, like a Tim Duncan, a cheaper Tim Duncan. <clears throat> at center, bro, the fact that this card is still 
being being able to use it. Honestly, any team, all money spent, NMS, whatever it is. And we go argue this motherfucker to start, but no. I mean, seven foot three, Porzingis like. Sanders just suck in this game, but Porzingis just. To be fair, Porzingis is very good. He's just been good. Um, people still use him, even um, even Ty still. Bro, Ty literally still uses him, bro. Like, I mean, this card. I mean, bro, he do, like he's seven three. What can you say? Centers in this game. There's not that many good ones. Um, but yeah, he's. And the thing is, he's gonna pick and pop for you, bro. Um, still has a good release. Obviously, it's slow now, but it's still good. Ninety three three ball. Like, there's not many centers with a better three ball than him. Um, again, I have to mention this again. Seven three defensive stats, not amazing. But you know what makes up for it? Uh, oh yeah, the fact seven three. Uh, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, bro, um, there's not that many great centers anyway, that too helps. Like, he's still like an A tier, you go on most tier lists, right? He's still an A tier center just because there's not that many good centers. But he's a, he's also very good, like he's 7-3. Um, if you can get a Ralph or something, I use Ralph instead of him. Uh, if, you, if you, honestly, if you don't grind like a Ralph or if you didn't grind Yao, it's tough not to still use Brinkus. I mean, you could, and I don't, like, don't want to spend up for Kareem. Obviously, if you can get a Kareem, that'd be amazing, but... Overall, this is still one of the best centers just because there's not that many good centers. And, um, oh yeah, Anchor is 7 7 3, 240. Alright, now we got the backups. Um, backup point guard, this is what I mean by 2K1 2, 3 for 3 this week in pick diamonds. I mean, this card, I love this card, bro. Uh, am I tripping? Oh, probably shooting her. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Is he a shooting her? Oh, I sold him. I am tripping, ball sack. Um,. Yeah, we're gonna have to look this one up. Oh, uh, <laughs> my bad, my bad. I literally was using. I forgot. He's still 20k, so I just sold it fast. But it is Jalen sucks, bro. I mean, we talk about we talk about players, bro. It's Jalen sucks. I literally forgot the auction house glitch. But okay, we're just gonna talk about Jalen sucks. Would I buy Jalen sucks now anyway? No, first one week's auction house is fucked. Second one, he's like going for like 20k. Would I buy him now? No, but he's amazing. Um, he moves very solid compared to Chauncey. Um, Chauncey moves are obviously better, but he's 6'4", has a better player build, and defensively is what he's going to do for you. First of all, his three-pointer is amazing too, his release is amazing. So he's going to shoot very well, shoot just as good as Chauncey. He's not going to move as well, but his defense is what, is what separates him. Um, if I wasn't starting Ben Wallace, I would start Jalen Suggs. But since I have Ben Wallace, Chauncey will hold his own, so but Suggs is amazing, um, moves up, very solid. Doesn't have the best uh, signatures, whatever. But yeah, um, he's going to D up for you, make threes, and he can still create. He's not the best creator, but he still creates very well. So Jalen sucks, bro. At the backup uh, point guard position, bro. At shooting guard, and this guy you could argue should start just because he creates so well. but Because he, he literally is a top four picking diamond. But I just like Chauncey and Ben Wallace combo better. It's I mean, it's already too freaking weird, bro. This card is amazing. He's literally, um, the fact that they dropped this after Dark Matter Real is crazy because he's low-key better. Uh, Release wise, bro, I'm telling you, like, I probably. There's not a player that I make more contested shots with. In general, in that game, there's not a single player I make more shots with. It is RJ Barrett. RJ Barrett him, is him shooting one. Um, driving dunk is a 95. Ball handle is a 90 freaking 9, bro. Um, talk about shot creators like he's gonna he's gonna shoot very well and if you know how to dribble with him like he doesn't have the best signatures but he still has a couple moves that you can use your arsenal if you can know how to dribble with him bro he's gonna be amazing shot creator for you and everything uh, making threes all day every day and then defensively not amazing he's a little bit t-rex arms and not great defense style. he's solid defense style. look at that 93 i mean he has good defense he's a good defender he's not amazing uh that's somebody who's gonna, do. He's gonna shoot and make shots for you um, that's what he's doing bro that are you freaking bear I'm already at a 10 minute mark in this video, bro. I'll be talking with more sometimes. But, um. <clears throat> the 3 and 4, bro, are gonna be these two cards, and you can kinda argue um, which one to put where. First of all, I like Aaron Gordon is better than Josh Smith. I don't care. Um, uh, he shoots better. I don't care. He shoots a lot better. Um, does a lot of the same things. So he's better. And Aaron Gordon is gonna go at the 4 spot, so. Aaron Gordon go to the four spot and Josh Smith is gonna go at the three spot, bro. Josh Smith is gonna go to the three spot. That's because Josh Smith, um, coming Aaron Gordon, he's gonna move a little bit better. Right? His acceleration speed, all that is a little bit better. Um and defensively he's a little bit better. Um, uh, but yeah, this card is very good. Uh I like Aaron Gordon better, I'm gonna repeat that, but um He's gonna shoot very solid. I don't. I don't love his releases. A little bit slow, but um, moves solid. He doesn't move amazing, but moves better than Aaron Gordon. Um, good defense. Yeah, this card is very fucking good. But a lot of people love this card. He is very good. Um, just overall a very solid card. But uh, Aaron Gordon, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. 
He does a lot of the same things, bro. But the thing you'll notice is his shooting magic, his three point shot, all that is better. It's just really just smooth, bro. Very, very smooth. Um, the reason I put him at the four is because, um, obviously, like I said, Jasmine moves a little bit better. Um, but Aaron Gordon's gonna shoot from the corner. Um, just train everything for you in the corner. And he, um, he's a one inch shorter and one inch less wingspan, but he also weighs 24 pounds to Jasmine. So overall, he's gonna do better against like a U wing and shit like that. Um, 99 driving dunk. I don't love his drunk animations. That's another reason why I wouldn't put him at the three because uh, I'd rather him just shoot for me, honestly. Um, his dunk animations are kind of annoying. But yeah, overall, um, defensively, you wonder about Josh Smith has better defensive stats. He does. But um, his defensive animations are also very good. So you can't sleep on that. So overall, um, very, very solid card. Very good card. A lot of fun to use, honestly. And last, bro, I'm not in love with this card. I'm not going to cap. I'm not in love with this card. But a lot of people love him, and he is still, he does what he's supposed to do. And it's Eddie freaking Curry, man. Eddie freaking Curry, bro. This guy will get tired like 10 seconds into the game. But he's good, bro. Um, With his new um, release, make sure you upgrade him. I don't think I even have him upgraded. Yeah, I don't. But his new release is good. Um, He's 7 feet on the dot. He feels smaller, bro. I think it's because of his girthiness. He feels just smaller. But, um, yeah, he can make threes. Um, uh, Very solid defensive stats, right? Um. Good, very good rebounder. You can argue he should play a four. The problem is pink diamond wise, um, there aren't many good centers, so he kind of has to play center. He's a big body. He's very girthy. Um, good rebounder. He's just overall a very solid card. Um, you see his corner specialist catch a shoot. He's a lot of solid shooting badges. Uh, good defensive badges. Overall, very very solid card. Um, a lot of people love him. I don't love him, but he's good, bro. Um, yeah. Um, you can argue to run him at the four, but. Yeah, bro. Uh, this is the best pink diamond lineup. Don't include Sexton. You see this glitch where you gotta have Chauncey Ben Wallace. If you're running pink diamond, like they're literally galley soulpuls, so you have to run them too. You, know, you can one give me the bench too, by the way. It doesn't have to be like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter where you put them. But this is the lineup, bro. With, um, uh, talk about pink diamonds. A lot of these can be good tactical downgrades, like Ben Wallace, um, Danny Ferry. You could argue Chauncey, but RJ Barrett. Let me, know, let me know if I'm missing anyone, bro. Uh, yeah, this is the best pink diamond lineup I would say right now. Let me know if I'm cap on any of this. I don't think I am. I'm spitting mostly, but let me know, bro. Uh, thank you, and uh.